I am Captain Kira, and this is what I do. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Alright, we finally survived getting that damn trophy. I'll tell you, man, that really sucked. Now that, you can use guns, Now man. I can defend myself instead of stealthy, to to cocky bitch fight. <laughs> Duh. There's a few, like, stealthy, yeah, what? stealthy Since bitch fights. There's a Pikachu master. Maybe that yeah, there's like a few stealthy bitch fight trophies, but I don't remember. Town. Weedle! <laughs> Just the scale. No, it's pretty crazy. It's huge. And these are like ancient, right? Yeah. Found the stairs down. Things left us anyway. Weedle, 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 weedle. weedle. Oh, well then. Weedle, 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 weedle. That's how it was supposed to happen. Found a thing. Ooh. Was it sparkly? I missed it. Any thoughts how we get up to the crown? Did you bring the helicopter? Left to get home. Bam. Then I guess we're climbing. The Butterfree Master. Now that one I would totally fight. It's like put your put you to sleep. Now you're poisoned. Now sleep. Now poisoned. Well, the thing is, I don't know how high of level they are too. So like, I might have the Pokemon, but maybe I only have like a level ten or something. Over here. Does it does it like change it like when you do a, a battle against someone else where you can set it to the same level? I don't know. The Eevee Master Girl was not too tricky. Thankfully. Okay. Ready? Plus, if I defeat another one, do I lose my current title? Doesn't change. I would assume it overrides it. So I'll just run around for a minute looking for Look potential for not ones, I guess. I could probably do the Snorlax. Oh, if there's, if there's a Vulpix Master, I could probably take him down. That's not a Ninetales Master. Up we go then. There's supposed to be like 153 of them. I don't see how that works because in this game I didn't think there were 100 and. Now we're climbing. Go on, this way. You sure it's safe? You know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time if you just assume it's not. Oh, it's oh. Oh. oh boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. <coughs> Only because you said please. I didn't actually. What you said Ganesh was the removal of obstacles. He's more than happy to place them in your way if he thinks you'll benefit. That why the horse I chose him for do. He's also the Lord of Good Fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. <laughs> Is this really the only way across? Yep. <laughs> Oh, fun, right? There's the craziest thing I've ever done. 
good way or bad way? I'll let you know. How would you even know to go this way? You know? It's kind of wacky. I would not think great, to go China. that way. Yes. We'll be doing better when we get to the farm. Surprised we haven't seen the Saab yet. <laughs> not one would. Oh, he's around. Don't we see him up here? Why is that? He doesn't have the stones to climb this high. <laughs> yeah, he'd probably use his private helicopter. Scared the birds off. Good job. Oh, oh, some more. All right. There's a Volvix trainer. Ho, 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 ho. I might be able to beat you. Route six. Quit cheating. Wherever that Cheatering. Be. I gotta look it up because this place is extensive and I don't know where the hell anything is. Swing over to the crown. Just a little farther to go. Huh? Oh, oh, thank you. Hurry up and climb. Thanks for the leg up. And climb up, my friend. Magic carp master. Oh, jeez. Is it gonna do splash? <laughs> Gyarados, does that count? I'm sure I have other magic carps, but these are all like level seventy. Might be a problem. Hmm? Yeah, watch that wind. Worth it. Impressive. Yeah. Oh. It's so pretty. How do we get off this thing? It is pretty. Okay. Easy does it. Still four. Twenty-four. I was not expecting to climb this crazy ass thing. I didn't think so either. There's That's studio up here. Don't jinx us. Still climbing. Is our way in. Courtesy of the Persian army. <laughs> wow. Nice yeah, shot. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Rebuchet. Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A the different type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles like this one and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. Like a normal person. <laughs> Bird. I've taken military history, so I knew what it was, but... Yeah. Ready? After you? Yeah. I think it's the one that looks Incredible. like a... Gum. It's our old friends. Parashirama and Ganesh. Jeez. Really? Looks like they're fighting. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't all fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. Well, it's not a fair fight. Ru. I guess it's not really his style. Volpix prison, where are you at? Peru! Yeesh. Scary! Did they just carve this whole place out of the mountain? Sure looks like it. That's insane. Jeez. Hundreds of years. We barricaded the door. Didn't do them much good. 
Guess they didn't expect the Persians to drop in from above. You thought after two prior invasions, they'd be prepared for anything. Or they just never thought they'd be defeated. What's the matter, Polk? This is Route 5. Where are you? Is it Route 5? Route 6. My bad. Must be a way out of this chamber. Yeah, but I kind of wanted to check out what's over here. Looks like nothing. You never know. More nothing. Oh, found a bush. That was reared. Did you see her move? Yeah. That was, uh. Yeah, that was a thing. Through here. Hey, look, armaments. You were right, Nadine. I have my moments. This all Persian? Uh, looks to be a mix of Persian and Hoysala. First line of defense. Yeesh. Why can't I ever go to a nice place? <laughs> well, it's always it's, tombs and it's nice death and, and destruction. Well, that's the nature of treasure hunting. It's usually probably not a lot the most of dead pleasant. people. I like that knife though. Now we're getting somewhere. Where are you? I kinda at? missed my light. Can you turn it back on? Great, just robbed a dead dead man. Oh. Hey, another one of these doors. Oh what? Now let's see. Oh, there you are. Let me see you lurking oh, good. this building. This one actually works. Let's give it a go. There we go. Nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony. Antiyishti. Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. This is like hundreds of dead bodies turned to mush. Mush. Yeah. Not liking the way it looks thus far. Ominous. <laughs> Alright, now we're having a battle of the Vulpi. But it didn't say you can't use a lowland. So I am. Um... Oh boy. Hey, up here. Might not be the best idea though. It's got all ice. What the hell? Uh, ice moves. This was it. Which I forgot. <laughs> well, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Look at all dodge. So much death. Gross. Thousands. Yeah. The crap. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fella. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. 
We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. The amount of dead bodies is like... Unreal. <laughs> If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. It's one of those crazy okay, three-dimensional shadow things. We have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe, and on the right we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva Ganesha's father gave to Parashurama? Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see if this I don't mean that door. 67. So how does all this work? Uh, only one way to find out. Let's see what this does. Alright, that slid the piece away from me. It's shadow move too. Let's try this. <laughs> Over you go. Actually, looks like fun. Told you this three D puzzle. Intricate. Oh, this one's tough. You really have to think three-dimensionally. Screw this up. Okay, okay. That's where he needs to be. Yeah. It's the tusk. The tusk is the key here. Not the Vulpix Master. No. Ugh. Oh. Now I'm sad. <sighs> I really mainly wanted to be the Eevee Master. Nothing else I really specialize in. Hmm. 
Are there other evolutions? There must be if there's that many trainers. Ugh, the nine tails. I haven't even gotten that far yet. Eek. How do they know the stats? How did they figure that out? So the shadows line up with the shapes on the mural. Looks like the left side should be Shiva, X, and Parasharama. The right side should be Parasharama, Tusk, and Ganesh. Oh, what? thanks, genius. I got that already. Ho ho, progress. Oh, wait, wait, oh, okay, oh, oh. Oh shit, or six. I, sw oh. I switched them. It's okay. It's okay. Minor setback. Minor. Extremely minor. Just moved the wrong one. Oh, I moved the wrong one! <laughs> oh! Okay. Man, that Eevee was a level 75. I defeated that other one, no problem. <laughs> there is. Okay, so there's a Vaporeon, a Jolteon, and a Flareon. They're all also level 75. They're all in Celadon City. In the shopping center, it looks like. Okay. Well then, uh, the problem with that <laughs> is, is I'm gonna get my butt handed to me. Oh jeez. Okay. Shoot. Fifty nine and two sixties. Symbols on the mural are the X and the X. So the X in the middle should have elements of each. Hmm. All right then.
something happened here. It's just slightly off, and... What was that noise? This 3D puzzle, man. This one's tough. Oh, come on. You did that Millennium Falcon. He had to be crummy. Oh geez, there she is. My Vaporeon is like not even close to your level though. Should I even try? Eee. And I still have to get six titles. The six I have won't work because two are a little bit. <sighs> I think I got something. Help! Okay, that piece is definitely meant to be in the center. I think you're right. Okay, so as long as I don't touch a middle switch, it'll stay there. That didn't help me at all. I don't know. I might have met my match with this puzzle. You got this. Um, let's look. Let's see. So. I need to get this corner. Uh huh. Right here into that center. Are there switches on all four sides? Yes. Wouldn't you have to do the furthest switch to the right on this left hand side then? Like if you go. Well, I'll show you what it does. Like if you hit the furthest one. Because if I hit one, it pushes everything to um, the opposite side. Oh, okay. They slide all the way each time? Yes. I see. Okay. It's just the one row at a time, though. Right. So this is how close. This is that's the closest I've got. I just need that one piece. It just needs to be one more this way. It needs to be the this middle one right here. That one. But if you hit the switch that's on this, that's around the corner on the left hand side, it would go all the way down, right? Hang it on, would, I think I, think I got it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I think I got it. Okay. This one. This one. This one. This one. I think that's it. Yes. Nice. You're welcome. Whew, that was tough. Like a three D Rubik's fucking cube. 
Salah and the Tiger. Hope you enjoyed our video, and if you did, you can help support us on our Patreon and other social media sites in listed in the description below. In doing so, this will help us create better content and pursue other lifetime goals and hobbies, such as voice acting and starting or supporting an animal rescue, among other future projects. And on that note, I'd like to say, help control the pet population, have your pets spayed or neutered. Many cities have low cost or even free spay and neuter services available, as well as some vaccinations and microchipping. Please check your local city animal shelter website for more information. Thanks for watching. See you next time.